But yeah, let's let's finish the proxy rebellion. Grab what we got. Uh, probably go buy some more Riven slots because boy, do I need more. And then we'll go from there. Are they already here, or I have no idea. Man, it has been a while since I bubbled. It'd be really cool if there is a, uh... It'd be really cool if there is, like, a, a mod for Frost at some point that actually made the bubble mobile. But that would probably make him extremely power powerful, so I can kind of understand why they wouldn't. It'd be cool to have, like, a mobile shield, though. Uh, that's the one unfortunate part about defense missions. They just feel very slow, because you're not going anywhere, you're not moving around, you're not hunting down- Well, I could hunt down dudes. Like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of survival over defense. I think... I think I would like defense more, almost, if they added a tower defense element to it. Like, how rad would it be if it straight up, straight up went full orcs must die. Oh! I didn't realize, uh, in aimed... I should probably look at how the, uh, Quats works. Quats actually does burst fire when you're, when you're aiming. That's kind of cool. Also, ow! Let yourself take things maybe more seriously. On the plus side, I think my frost has rejuvenation. Makes my life marginally more convenient. I not stand on top of this. Because I can't. Also, I get the distinct feeling everybody is capable of doing the proxy rebellion and is therefore super flimsy. No? It does actually look like everybody is considerably flimsier than I am. Mildly concerning, but eh, I'll just roll somebody a little bit. I'll just actually roll my good guns and probably Nidus for the next round. That... That Jackal just... hopped off the map. Why not? I don't remember I can... Ow. Jackal hurt. Med magnetic procs are not a good feel... on Frost. Okay, there we go. I hate it how it says Trick Mag new, and it's like, no, 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 I've already had Trick Mag. I just churned up all of the, uh... I just churned up all the old Trick Mags. Or the, all the unranked ones. I wonder if that means I don't have a maxed out one. Actually, it probably does, because I think I have a Prime Trick, trick Mag, or... Something, something to that extent. I don't know. I'll have to double check. Probably also get my hands on some beefier, beefier hits here. That's okay.
Yeah. It's not immediately obvious. I'm rolling, uh, you know what? Let's try full auto. Nope, full auto ain't worth it. But yeah, if it's not obvious, I'm rolling, like, my weakest gear. I think my fullman, yeah, my fullman's rank 9. I guess it's got, like, a decent, decent build, but this is, by far, is not, like, my, my strongest showing of equipment. Also, you can sit on the, sit on top of this thing. What am I, what was I thinking? Oh, does this have a, a limited range? It does. Well, I guess I'll just pick it all off with the quats. Because the quats actually does, does some serious oomph. Like, it's a, it's a decent gun. I'm not big on burst fire weapons, but, like, this one, this one actually does the trick. Part of it is, it has next to no kickback, very long range. I don't feel like moving. I'm very vulnerable here. Yeah, okay, that, do, that does some serious hurt on a hyena. It could be better if I had a magnetic proc, but whatever. But yeah, I can just clip pe people from afar. And yeah, the, the mag size and the, uh, the mag size and the... Uh, the overall, like, ammo pool for this thing is not bad in the slightest. This, this might be one of the game, uh, one of the guns that I actually hold on to for a while. Because it's respectable. I'll have to look into proper builds for it, but still. I don't know. There's some pretty rad sidearms in this game, but then again, I've said that about, like, most weapons. That, like... War Warframe's weapon selection is actually really good. I, I do feel like a number of, uh... I'm gonna say garbage tier guns could use uh, a bit of an oomph. Like... Uh, man, I didn't even... I mean, easy example, the machete on my back. I'm pretty sure ain't great. I know the ether swords aren't aren't very good. And like there's a number of things that could probably use like a a hefty oomph. Just to make them worth it. Yeah, that hyena just keeps falling off the uh, world. That's amazing. I like the reload animation on this gun. It's very, it's very gunslingery. Oh, did I run out of, I ran out of ammo. That's why I said I like the Fulman. Oh god, I forgot how slow Frost is. It actually is pretty bad. I might want to consider putting some uh, speed boosts on him. Okay. But yeah, that's part of the reason why I do generally dislike using uh, burst weapons or like high capacity weapons. Because you tend to burn through that capacity at like light speed. And it's not so bad. It can, it can be a little suck. Luckily, Frost is, uh, Frost number four is pretty rad. I almost never use the number one. I've, uh, got to go back to the Warframe review thing. I feel like the basic, like, shoot a, shoot a little fire, uh, like a little fire blast or an ice blast or whatever. I feel like those abilities should be replaced on every frame. They just have never struck me as particularly useful, because they always feel like they're baseline inferior to... 
uh, their baseline inferior to any, like, basic, uh, gunfire. Like, I will admit it's useful for popping the bubble in that one. But, like, I almost kind of wish it had, like, a, a slowing field or something interesting like that. I guess that's what the, uh, that's what the regular number four is, so... It's not that necessary. Hmm. I just realized I should probably switch out, uh, extra shields on Frost for armor, considering how much... Uh, I pump into armor. I've been building my frost strong for, I mean, functionally years. Whoops. I mean, I think his shields are legitimately higher than his uh, his health, but since shields aren't affected by armor in the slightest, why why would I want? Why would I want to pump the shields up instead? Okay, how's my Quats doing? Quats is doing much better. Uh, let's see. But yeah, the, the number one shots, like... Volt and Ember and so on and so forth, it feels very outdated. Uh, and like, in comparison, I really like the, uh, the number one move from, um, well, Nidus, even though I don't use it, I think that works much better for, for like, his style, and it's way more interesting. And so I... I would like to see DE come up with something more interesting than than what they've currently got for uh, for the number one moves for Frost, Volt, and Ember. Anybody else? I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what like Nidus is or I think Ex Excal's number one move is fine. Oh dang, that's some affinity and a half. I guess that's the point of these like bonus missions. They're real good for grinding. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave that. Who is sending me mail? Actually, it's probably the Exilus adapter. Why did I do that? Inbox. Yep. Okay, let's let's grab my kitty cat. I do also have my tax on. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's grab Steve for a bit, just so I can max him out properly. Uh, is he? Do you use fetch on these guys? No. Oh, he just uses vacuum. So linking health might not be a good idea on this guy. Uh, I could just give him calculated redirection. That's barely anything. You tell I don't use these guys that much. I'll just give him metal fiber for the t time being. Uh, you know, I've got money in Endo. I can max out companion metal fiber. I think fairly cheaply. Okay, not max out. Wow, that actually ends up being very expensive. Probably still worth it. I'll just roll somebody with a little bit more health than Frost. Uh, like my boy Nidus. Okay, so beyond that, my Quats, I think, can fit something else. Do we get on it? Honestly, its main issue is uh, mag capacity would be nice, but it would actually be better to get overall ammo capacity.
Oh yeah, I've never actually maxed out Trick Mag. Hmm. Well, seeing as we have it here, and seeing as I'm I'm burning Endo, it's real cheap to to bring up to to max rank. I'm not actually sure if I want to keep uh, Trick Mag on this thing. I I certainly am not sure if I actually even need it that much. Uh, let's see. But this way, at least, it's not going to be like, no, Trick Mag. Hmm. I'm going to like, I thought I already had that. Okay, so no need Corrosive anymore. This thing, Baseline, does electri electrical damage. Oh, uh, let's lose Pistol Pestilence. That, that was weird. You want to do Ice Storm and Jolt? Because this is definitely a status thing. Let's probably go Frostbite and Jolt. Ice Storm is good, but it's not that amazing. Not yet. I guess I might as well just chuck on pistol ammo mutation. It's not even useful, but I, I don't have anything better. Okay. That's my full min. Is it Wildfire? Wildfire might actually be useful on this gun. I've certainly never ranked it up, so we might as well rank it up. I don't actually know if it's any good, but I got it, so I might as well use it. Because, yeah, it's it's my, my end goal with Warframe is to have maybe not every mod in the game. There's definitely a lot of bonus ones that I just don't care for. Yeah, honestly, that really doesn't help that much. Reload speed might not be a bad idea. We get crit delay? Might not be a bad idea. Go for hammer shot. Or vital sense. Probably vital sense. Because it's going to be critting three out of four times. Might as well make it do more damage. That's good enough for now. Uh, let's see, and I don't care about my machete wraith. Okay, so next one is interception. Eh, shouldn't be too hard. Do we want to bring a bigger gun? So I'm not completely useless here. I probably should. Uh, let's see. Oh, and now screw it. My quads probably doesn't does enough damage. Worst comes to worst, I run around just stomping things. Oh, I am I am on public. Okay, I was just like that was fast. There we go. Okay. And at some point, we should probably go start cracking open some, some Riven mods so I actually have something to work with. Because, yeah, I actually do have quite a lot of Riven mods sitting around. I'm probably still more preferential to just buying the ones that I need as opposed to, like, Hoover farming. Because the resource I have the least of for Warframe is time. I have both unlimited time and super limited time, and it's a pain in the ass. Oh, Steve. Steve Harrington, your nice hair. Oh, it's this one. I as well grab that. What's Steve's HP at? Steve's HP is great. I don't have to worry about him. My poor, extremely killable, top-headed boy is not going to get just wrecked into oblivion. I'm probably still going to switch back to my Kavat or my Kubro. Maybe? Maybe not, I'm not really sure. Well, that certainly does some damage. We gotta do three rounds of this. 
Dang. This would have been a great mission to bring my sniper rifle. Because it looks like A is going to be boring. Is he trying to snipe them? Pripes, Steve. I mean, good for you, I guess. I'll just be here having a nice, relaxing time. I'd run around the map, but like, it's so spread out. Easier for me to just take pot shots at enemies that show their butts. But yeah, I probably should have brought my sniper. This would have been an amazing mission for that. I I've got a ribbon even. Uh, that that is asking me to pot shot people from like hundred meters away. Uh, oh well. Uh, I mean, honestly, that's a really easy mission to just do out on like the plains or something where everything is huge. doing? What is your plan here? Get back. Did leave blood? I didn't know hyenas bleed. I actually, you know, in retrospect, aren't they? No, the Zanuka prototypes are, are different from hyenas. And it's, yeah, it's just going over there. Oh, no, it's back. No way. I should probably use this mostly in burst mode. I think I do more damage in burst mode. It's at least slightly more ammo efficient. That's going to be the excuse I roll with. It certainly doesn't hurt me anymore. Hyena was, hyena was vaguely threatening to my frost, not so much tinnitus. To go back to my Warframe reviews, yeah, I really like Nidus. I'm sure I'd like some other frames as much, but it's just like, you can just like easy peasy mode through almost anything with Nidus. Yeah, that is some... There's either some lag on my end or somebody else's end. Probably not my end. My internet's pretty good. Sometimes it's not, but like 99% of the time, it's... it's decent. I see you. How creepy would it be, would it be if all of the eyeballs... Oh, dude. If all of the eyeballs either followed the camera, so it was always looking at you, or followed any enemy. So, like, if an enemy walked by within a certain amount of range, every single eye would just straight up look at it. Freaking horrifying. But cool? I don't even know what Steve is shooting at. I usually like interceptions because you're getting swarmed with dudes, but... It's like all quiet, quiet on the A front. I have like the occasional enemy that comes to say hi and that's about it. Nope, he's dead. This would have been an amazing mission for a sniper rifle. I don't know. I'm really 
I'm really looking forward to, uh... They said they were redoing the Dark Sectors. I hope that's sooner than later, to some degree. Because, I'd really, I mean, obviously, that's not going to help everything. But I really like the idea of Dark Sectors just being these, like, insane, like, survival rush situations where you're just getting, like, mobbed by, by dudes. I know what I'm saying, dang it. And I stand by it. I'm going to be mobbed by a big, bulky grenier. I've been playing way, way too much Dragon Quest Builders. The, like... The thinly veiled homoerotic jokes in that have just, like, infected my brain. It is a good game, though. Like, holy crap. Okay. On one hand, I both needed it needed an incredibly good game to play for a while. On the other hand, uh, it really is, like, poisoning me a little bit. Because, yeah, like I was kind of trying to say, it's like, I just don't want to play anything else. It's, it's bad. Maybe this isn't as big of an issue for a lot of, like, Warframe fans or whatever, because, like, this game is already fantastic. Uh, but for me, you know, I'm constantly cycling in new stuff just because that's, that's how my job works. And so it's rare for me to come across a game that I'm I'm so into that I I don't want to play anything else. Warframe does it to a lesser degree, but after I, I don't even know how many hours I've played of this game. I could go check. Just hit 680 hours, which actually by many people's metrics, that's still pretty early a game. Which is insane. 680 hours, what does that translate to? Just shy of 300... No, not 300 days. 30 days. Eh, it's not terrible. I certainly played that much World of Warcraft. I think I played way more World of Warcraft. Sometimes I wish I had somehow had the brilliant idea to start a Let's Play channel before anybody else. Just because of the amount of games that I played. I actually have weird dreams about this every once in a while where I'm... I, like... I dream I'm back in college and trying to be a Let's Player while I'm in college. You know, uh, trying to strike deals with my, with like the neighboring dorm uh, rooms. Like, hey, by the way, I'm going to be recording from like this hour to this hour. Is that okay? Like, please don't make too much noise. Uh, you know, trying to make deals with my roommate so that, uh, so that they don't mind me working more or less full time while going to college while you know, yammering on a mic uh, at a microphone for hours on end. I don't know how you college students do it. Because uh, every once in a while I hear about, like, a, a Let's Player or, a, or, you know, a YouTube channel or a streamer or whatever that's, like, still doing college full-time and also YouTubing and streaming. And I'm like, you got to have your own room for that. Because, like, I can't imagine doing that with an actual roommate. Housemates, yeah, I can see it. I mean, it's absolutely doable. Uh, technically, that's what I'm doing right now. It's just my housemate is my fiance, as opposed to as opposed to some. Well, I'm not going to say unassociated stranger because I don't think that's. Well, that's that's absolutely incorrect. Is it just me or are these XMI really easy to kill? Ow! What? Why? Because just don't hang off the edge. Oh, it's a Bursa. That'd do the trick. Wow. I'm actually having trouble hitting things here. I mean, obviously, I'm not very good at quickly moving targets. Let's see. Speaking of housemates, uh, the uh, small freakout moment of just like, oh shoot, when do I need to pay rent? The answer is, oh, not for a little while yet. Probably for the best. 
think they've just gone AFK. I honestly can't blame them. This is really boring. Is it this Bursa? It is probably this Bursa. Oh, this is dead. Yeah, it was that Bursa holding the point. That Mace has got it. You get distracted too long and you actually do lose your point. But then again, I was off trying to save A and B because that, that person was just gone. That's okay, though. It actually looks like Steve is, to some mild degree, handling most threats that come my way. It's kind of nice. Doing. No way. Hanging out underneath my point. We're so close, too. But no, I don't know. I guess I, I... You know, now that I think about it, I did actually have a uh, apartment mate when I started my YouTube channel. She was super cool with it. Still is. I. She watched some of the series that I did over the years. She was really big on that... Uh, what is that? It was an aquarium game that I'd played. She really liked that one. And then the other one was Stardew Valley, but that was with people. And, yeah, I can't do that anymore. I mean, maybe I can. I just have to, like, reach reach out and ask people. It's like, yo, do I just play, like, a stupid amount of Stardew Valley for, like, a week? Uh, it's hard to get people to, like, stream with me. Uh, well, my quads got some affinity. Not everything else, though, but at least we can shelve the quads. Probably shelve the full men, though. At least for a bit. Okay. Because, yeah, what I should do... Comrex. Corpus Ingenuity leveraging Tau Tech to create a high-capacity bimodal sniper weapon with terrifying capability. Zoom to reduce recoil, add punch through. I'm going to again add bursting viral round with a lower rate of fire. Built-in ammo conversion. Okay. I mean... This... Ooh, that's a... Swank-looking gun. This is actually pretty close to what I... What I need, even. Let's see, what is the thing? High status. Comparatively. Okay. Is that good? I think that should be good. And what do we do with the quats? If I want to use the quats more than I have, I should probably form it. That said, I should probably keep working with my catch moon or level up these twin gremlins. Uh, let's grab the Catch Moon. Let's see, it already does blast damage. Do we make it do more? Or do we... Oh, that makes it do viral? Oh. Okay, there we go. So it'll do heat and magnetic. That's fine. We're mostly up against Corpus anyway. And we get a pistol riven mod. I guess I should probably pop it on my my pistol. I got space. Three headshot kills and a single aim glide. Oh. That actually might be doable. It really depends on how many enemies we run into here.
Okay, next up is survival. Oh. That should make this a little easier. Hopefully, maybe more interesting. I don't know. I I would much rather be, like, fighting like crazy than standing around being like, hmm, well, this is easy. Unless, of course, the, huh, this is easy comes as a result of of, like, me putting down crazy defenses. Like, I like me some tower defense games where you make that perfect defense, and you're like, man, like, I've totally skunked them. I knew exact. I had their number. Should probably actually... Boot, uh, reduce my aim glide. Oh, that's... That's Steve. I actually do damage to this sucker now. Yeah, hopefully we'll have... Well, I have a chance. Nope. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, I'm- I wall latched. Shoot. Damn it. Am I, like, out of energy? No, oh, I am. That would do it. Come on, shoot me! Unfortunately, I also... I really can't hang out next to other people, because they're gonna screw it over, too. Come on, hit me some more. I've got Rage on! And the damage conversion here is bad. Yeah, being around another person is gonna just make this nigh on impossible. I mean, hell, even Steve is trying to kill Steel from me. I gotta get far away. I don't think this is the right location, though. Too many dead ends. Ugh. Because yeah, all I need is Tentaball, Bullet Jump. Aim glide. And I'm good. I just also need a private place where somebody's not running around with an Ignis. This looks doable. Going though. Okay, looks promising. I mean, to some degree, I have to... I don't actually have to kill every everybody I'm running into. I could just kind of... bait them all to come out. Uh, I don't know. Unfortunately, getting headshots on robotic dudes might be harder than I'd like. Nope. Yeah, I get, I get one, and then it's like. Eh. What did I? I apparently tend to walls. And of course they've come to say hi. God damn it. I mean, this might be easier with an Ignis as well. 
I might have to try this uh, again on my own to get this ribbon. It's not too hard. I think just... I mean, for sure, tentaballing. I only ever end up getting one. Maybe I just need something with more more immediate range. Because, yeah. I only hit one, and then somebody rolls by to take it from me. Alright, whatever. Oh, wow. I have to be, like, clear across the map. For this to work. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's, like, the perfect spot. Probably a lot easier to do. Probably considerably easier to do. Oh, eh. Platforming is hard. Okay, so both of these suck. I'm just gonna play this mission normally. I mean, we only have three and a half minutes left. I'll tend to ball if it gets busy and we might have a chance but I think part of it is also too many X am I also I'm not entirely sure if I'm headshotting them or not it's probably a really easy easy way to do this but I'm not doing Certainly it'd be easier without people, and probably on some of the busiest maps. And as far as like the, the headshots from... Is it he headshots or is it just hits from far away? I'm not entirely sure. One way or another, that, that seems like the kind of thing for Fortuna or, or Eidolon. And then there's a bunch of like aim glide related perks. Perks? mods that I can check on. I guess hyenas are just unaffected by abilities, but they are not effect unaffected by catch moon. This is looking pretty busy. Nope. Yeah. I'm mildly unsatisfied. I think I think I'd be better off trying to do this when it's not a bunch of Eximus too. This is a whole bunch of Exami around here. And their baseline, I think, just bigger than their regular counterparts? I'm 90% certain of that. the uh, size differences are. Also, why has Warframe never done like just a huge... Oh. I want a modifier where everybody's tiny. Like out on the Plains of Eidolon or something, like every single person is just like a, a mini little sucker. But it doesn't even have to be the Plains. I just want a mission where like all of the enemies are just stupidly large and numerous for no good reason. Effectively big head mode, but... But, Warframe Edition. Just for a bit. Oh, dude, like, attacking the Noggles. 
probably will never happen, but it would be really satisfying all the same. Okay. Are we... Nope, I'm out of energy. That's the other thing. Throwing me off kind of hard here. Oh, the Necros is nearby. I was like, why Why can't I hit any of these things? I still wish the Necros' minions were visually distinct. Like a bunch of ghosts or phantoms or something. I know they have like a special effect going over them, but like that's... Honestly, not too far off of the same special effect that XMI have in general, so I don't, I don't really know. Oh. I'm actually close. Hooray! That certainly makes my life easier. Well, I made it, and now we wait. I remember when I was first starting Warframe, I was the guy that was always like hoping that we could do more than five missions, uh, five waves on a defense, or something like that. You know, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd straight up be like really excited if we could go for like 20 waves on a defense mission, or like 20 minutes on an extraction, or something like that. Now that I'm here, I'm just like, oh yeah, that's not actually really that useful outside of very, very specific missions. This is a bit unfortunate. Well, I almost maxed out I cast fist. Ooh, and we got a decent amount of neural sensors. Not that I think we need them anymore. Oh, I got all the kills. I was screwing around. Well, I guess I cast fist is a decent gun. Not done, but it's decent. Okay, I think the last one's a defense. I think I need some food before I do it. Orkin reactor blueprint and the catalyst blueprint. I should probably get those building now that I'm thinking about it. So I'm not squandering stuff. Uh, let's see. Huh. So that's the use for the neural sensors, but god, I have so many of them. And I've also got to start farming for the Parasesis. I've actually got a decent amount of ducats. Yeah, all we'd have to do is just go ducat farming and I could get it. Got the stuff for Boobin, so... So, we do not need another chassis. But then we'll be able to get that elusive frame that I've never gotten. Leaving me only with Saren remaining. Ugh. Anything else here? Don't really look like it. A lot of gems and whatnot to make, but those are not the weapons I'm going for. All right, well, that's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get give me some food, and then we'll finish off the uh, proxy rebellion. I don't really need the Racta Zadana or the Stratos em emblem, but like you know, I'm three out of four. I might as well keep going. <laughs>